to show you one way to process purchase quotes in Dynamics 365 Business Central using Outlook. This is going to be a quote request to one of my suppliers. Here's a supplier I'm going to quote to. I could quote to a number of different suppliers if I wanted to, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to use one. And I want to specify the items for which I want to quote. Here's my item. And the quantity I want to quote it is for 30. And I don't want to include the cost in there, so I'm going to zero that out. Now the quote's done. This is a quote request, so I'm going to send it to the supplier. I'm going to send it via email. Now I'm acting as a supplier, and I've received this email asking for a quote. I can open up the quote and see that this is the items that they're looking for a quote. I'm just going to copy and paste this and reply back to Cronus. So I'm going to respond back to Cronus and say, yes, I can offer this to you at a price of $138 each. So I'll send that back. Now I'm acting as the buyer at Cronus. I received this email communication offering me a price in this particular quote. So what I want to do now is I want to look at Business Central. I can do that right from Outlook. Business Central reads the email, and determines that the email address for the sender is related to one of these three contacts over here. This is the one that I want. I'm going to open that up. This shows me the vendor information in Business Central. I can see that I have one quote that I'm working on. So I'm going to open that quote up. So here I can enter the quoted price. Now this has been updated in Business Central. And there's a few things I want to do here. One thing I want to do is I want to turn this into a purchase order. I can do that here. I'll make an order of this. So here's the purchase order that's been created in Business Central. Now I know that I've got workflow attached to this, so I want to start the workflow on this for approval of this purchase order. Let's go up here, and I'll send the approval request. Now the purchase order has been released in Business Central, and I want to send that information back to the supplier saying, yes, we got a purchase order, it's on its way. And I'll just send it here. Here's a purchase order format that'll go back out to the supplier. So in this demonstration, I created a purchase quote within Business Central. I emailed it to the supplier. The supplier responded with accurate pricing. I reviewed that quote in Outlook. And then in Outlook, I updated that quote with a new price. I created a purchase order, submitted it for approval. Once it was approved, I then sent the purchase order to the supplier. 